and then I'm going to drag and drop the thread ID. So the thread is exactly like in a Gmail thread where it'll shows up as a one unique thread and you want to respond to that. You don't want to start a new email. It feels kind of weird. So that's exactly what we're doing. It finds exactly what we want in here, the exact syntax that uh, it needs. You don't have to worry about it. You just need to drag and drop and you're done. So now it knows where to respond. We just need to tell it what do you respond. So there's two types to send. To keep it simple, I'm going to just do plain text. We could generate HTML. It might be a bit more advanced. So this example, that's perfect in here. Uh, we have the output, same thing. I'm going to drag the output in the message here. It automatically switches to expression and it shares the answer here. So we're going to be testing that step. So remember, it already tested the trigger. It tested the AI agent. And now we're, the very last step is going to be to actually reply. So I'm going to hit test and it's actually going to send the email and then I can go into my inbox and show you guys what that looks like. That was quick. Didn't have to wait or pause. I just got the notification. I just realized if you want to make this a bit better, you want to, you might want to also send the sender name. The email came directly as a uh, email address. I'll show you what I mean in a second. All right. So there you go. So you see my original email in here. Um, this is just what I reported. That's from my personal account. And then I sent it and almost well, within a few minutes, I got the response. I did not use the first name of the person, although we did have that. So I could have used that. I could do another version with that. But as is, this is what you got. Thank you for reaching out. Very friendly to start. It's giving you straight uh, the answer here, a few paragraphs, it feels very good. Uh, so what I mentioned before is that we did not send the sender name in here. So the issue with that is that it's coming as the email. I probably would want to personalize and say customer service or something like that. 